In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix connection issues with Battlefield 2042 on your Windows computer. If you're unable to connect to the game, or if you're getting disconnected, or perhaps you're experiencing lagging issues within the game, then by doing the methods in this video, we will hopefully be able to resolve those issues. So the first thing you want to do is just ensure there isn't any current issues with your internet provider. If there currently are issues within your local area with the internet, then that is going to cause connection issues with Battlefield 2042. And unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. You're just going to have to wait until the issue gets resolved. The next thing you want to do is just ensure that the cable you're using to connect from your computer to your router has not got any visible damage. Or if you have a spare cable lying around, just go ahead and replace the cable just in case it is an issue with the cable. And if you're using wireless, then if you do have the option to use a cable, then plug in a cable. It's a lot more stable and it will offer better speeds. So once you've done all that, the next thing we want to do is just ensure Windows is up to date. And to check this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon. You now need to click on settings and we now need to select update and security and you then need to click on check for updates and if any new updates are available Windows will begin to download and install them. If Windows did detect a new update then install the update, restart your computer and then see if that helped resolve the issues you're having. If it didn't then the next thing you want to do is just ensure that your network adapter or card has the latest driver installed. And to check this all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon you now need to click on device manager and we now need to expand network adapters and you need to right click on your network adapter and click on update driver. You now need to click on search automatically for drivers and if a new driver is detected then Windows will update it. If you already have the latest driver then you will get a message like mine at the moment. This does not mean though that there isn't currently a newer driver. Windows just has not detected it. So it's also worth going over to the manufacturer website of your network card or adapter and see if there's a new driver available. I will pop a link in the description below to how you can do this with a Realtek network adapter if you do have a Realtek network adapter or card. Once you've updated your network card or adapter, if you're still having the connection issues, then you now need to go down to your system tray and right click on your network adapter. You now need to click on troubleshoot problems and you now need to see if there are currently any issues with your network adapter. If Windows does identify a problem then it will begin to try and repair the issue but as you can see mine didn't detect any issues so we're all good. You can then go ahead and close the window if it didn't detect a problem or if it did then follow the steps in resolving the issue. The next thing you need to do is ensure Battlefield 2042 is running as an administrator. You now need to open up the location of where you installed the game and you then need to right click on the BF2042.exe and select properties. You now need to click on compatibility and you then need to tick the box that says run this program as an administrator. You then need to press apply and ok and you can now go ahead and launch the game and see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing we want to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in firewall and you now need to click on Windows Defender Firewall and you now need to click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. We now need to ensure that Battlefield 2042 is not being blocked by the Windows Defender Firewall. If you are using a third party security firewall then you will need to check your firewall to ensure that it's not blocking Battlefield 2042. So if we now scroll down, as you can see Battlefield 2042 is currently in my list and it has a tick under private, which means that the game is not being blocked by my Windows Defender firewall. If yours doesn't have a tick then you need to click on change settings and you then need to tick the box. If the game is completely missing then you need to click on allow another app you then need to click on to browse. You now need to browse for the games.exe and you then need to select the bf2042.exe and click on open and then click add. 
I'm not going to add it because mine is actually already added. You now need to click anywhere within the list and then press O. And we now need to ensure Origin isn't being blocked. As you can see, Origin is here and it's got a tick under private. And you now also need to ensure that the launcher where you brought the game from is not also blocked as well. For example, I brought Battlefield 2042 through Steam, which means I now need to click anywhere and press S. And as you can see, Steam also has a tick under private as well. Once you have checked all that and you've allowed Steam, Origin and Battlefield 2042, or if you brought the game through the Epic Games launcher, allowed that through the firewall, go ahead and launch the game and that will hopefully have resolved the connection issues you're having with not being able to connect to the game and just being disconnected. If that didn't resolve the issues you're having with the game, you now need to go back to the game location and you then need to open up the easy anti-cheat folder. You now need to double click on easy anti-cheat setup and you then need to keep current game selected and then click on repair service. And this is now going to repair the easy anti-cheat that Battlefield 2042 uses. Once that has installed successfully, go ahead and launch the game and hopefully that has resolved the issues that you're having which might be caused by easy anti-cheat. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the taskbar and then click on task manager and you now need to go across to users and just ensure no one else that is currently signed into your computer that is currently using system resources. And as you can see, my computer sluggish user is disconnected, but is using the network. And this will cause lagging issues within Battlefield 2042. So just make sure that user doesn't have anything open that they need to save. And you can then click on sign out and then sign out user. And it will then sign that user out and you will have more system resources for your user profile. And as you can see, the network usage is now on 0% which means that will hopefully resolve the lagging issues I was experiencing in game. Also, another thing to do is ensure no one else within your household is currently downloading a massive file or streaming, just in case that is causing the issues with your connection to Battlefield 2042 also. For the next step, you need to launch Battlefield 2042, and you now need to go ahead and select one of the game modes, and you now need to click onto option. You now need to toggle crossplay to off. And go ahead and launch into a game and see if that helps resolve the lagging issues you're experiencing and also connection issues. If it didn't, then you can go ahead and just turn crossplay back on. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope the video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.